This how-to video will teach you how to properly prepare your clothing items so that you can make the most money at our sale. The first thing you want to remember is that presentation is everything. You want your items to look better than anybody else's items on the racks. The first thing you need to do is to get in very good and bright lighting. It's very hard to see some of those sneaky spit-up stains or little ink marks or different things that might have gotten on your children's clothing, so please use good lighting. You want to search through and look at every piece and make sure there are no spots, no stains, no rips or tears. Make sure all the buttons are there and then button them. Make sure all the zippers work and if you have any threads hanging up or anything like that, you might want to trim those up, okay? Uh, the really important thing you want to do is to check any baby items around the neck. These are, you know, could be sleepers, could be t-shirts, could be little sweaters, anything, but those those spit up stains are very hard to find and you want to look for those because that's something that we'll check when they come through inspection. The other thing to remember when you're preparing your clothing is that if you combine two pieces onto one hanger, those two pieces must be the same size. You cannot put a 2T and a 3T on one hanger, okay? So let's get started with our hangers. This is the child size hanger and this is for any item that is size 4 and under. What you want to remember when you put this into your clothing is that the hanger must look like a question mark. It should be facing the left as you look at it. So if it looks like a question mark, that's the correct way, okay? So we're just going to slide this little girl shirt onto the hanger. And this is how it should hang when you bring it to One Week Boutique. If your hangers are backwards, when you get to inspection, they're going to make you switch them all back to the correct direction. So make sure at home that you get them in the right direction. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the tag as you look at it to the right hand side of the shirt. You're going to take a safety pin and if you have put it in soap, it's, gonna, it's going to go through the item much quicker. You're just going to put it through the tag, into the clothing, back up through the tag, Fasten the safety pin, and there is your item. This is exactly how it should hang on the One Week Boutique rack. Hanger facing the left, tag on the right as you're looking at it, okay? The next thing we're going to talk about is how to correctly hang pants or shorts, okay? So again, you're going to take your hanger so that it's facing the left. The easiest place to pin pants is if you put a pocket over the hanger and fold it. Okay, that is the thinnest part of it, and that's where you're going to, be, going to have the most ease. And you're just going to slide your safety pin right through there. Okay, now how I did that is I folded it over, and I stuck my pin through the pants, under the hanger, back through the pants in the back, fasten the safety pin. So there are your pants hanging. Now, notice that they are hanging at the top. They are fastened at the top of the hanger. Please do not fasten them at the bottom because if you do, when they hang on our racks and everybody's pawing through the racks, they're going to fall like this and they're going to sit there and no one's going to look at them because they can't see the front of the pants, okay? So do not pin them down at the bottom. Pin them up at the top, but make sure that you go through the pants, catch the hanger, and through the pants again. Because if you don't, again, they will sag to the side, okay? Okay, I'm going to show you a closer view of how to pin pants or shorts to a hanger. Uh, make sure that you're pinning it to the top shoulder part of the hanger, not this bottom bar, but the top. The easiest thing is if you can fold it over the hanger right at the pocket, you're going to go into the clothing, the hanger is right through here, and come out the back of the clothing and stay secure your safety pin. We'll do the other side so you can see that again. We're going to fold the pocket, go through the clothing, through the front, come out through the back of the clothing, and secure it. And you've already gotten the hanger, so it should look like that on the back, and like this on the front, and it's on there and it won't fall off. Even if it falls to the side, it's not falling off. So there's a pair of pants. The next thing we're going to talk about is if you have a two-piece outfit, okay? So you've already hung your shirt, that's the first thing you do. 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your shirt over and you're going to take the pair of pants and attach it to the back. And again, you're going to come up on the top of the hanger, grab your safety pin, you're going to go through the piece of clothing, catch the hanger, come back up through the piece of clothing, and fasten it. Okay? So now we have a two-piece outfit. And remember what we said about two-piece outfits? They must be the same size. If your child might have been a 2T on top and a 3T on the bottom and that's how you bought the outfit, that is probably not how our shopper is going to need to buy their outfit. So you must separate those two items, even if they match. If they are a different size, they need to be separated, okay? So this is how your two-piece outfit is going to look on the hanger, okay? Facing the left, tag on the right, shirt in the front, flip it over, and then you show the pants. Now, if these were pants, maybe a pair of jeans that had a design, maybe there was a heart on them, I would turn them so that the heart shows once the shopper flips this over, okay? The other thing you could do is say this outfit had a matching hat or it had matching socks. You could just go ahead and safety pin that through on the outfit in either place. Don't cover up the tag, but you could safety pin the hat or the socks or tights or whatever it is on there so that the whole outfit is complete, okay? Then also note on your tag, two-piece outfit or three-piece outfit. That way, in case these pants come off or the hat comes off, we can go back and hopefully find that outfit and make it a match set, okay? The only other thing I have to suggest is if you have an item that has straps like this in the summertime, a lot of straps you know, are on dresses or tank tops, um, please pin the straps to this. Don't just hang the dress on here, but pin the straps on so that it doesn't fall off and fall on the ground. The other thing to do with uh, pinning necklines is a lot of maternity shirts have very wide necklines and they'll fall off the hanger very easily. If you pin at least one side of that onto the hanger, then it's gonna stay secure and it'll stay on the rack and hopefully sell. Okay, this is how you tag your clothing at One Week Boutique and we hope that you make the most money possible. Spring, sweet rhythm, dance in my head.